UCF takes this matchup tonight in Orlando. I'm Chris Nurgle alongside quarterback Jeremiah Oatesfall. The governors scored more points on Central Florida than any team all season long. What was key in keeping that number 17 rank in the country on their toes tonight? I think it was just, you know, the game plan was similar to last week. You know, it was fresh on people's head. Um, and I thought we just played hard. You know, coming in here, you know, we had a fun week. Uh, and I thought we were able to lock in. We were able to be focused. We played hard. We knew that, you know, if we execute, you know, we're the only team that can beat ourselves. And, you know, we beat ourselves up a little bit tonight. But to be able to score 33 points on number 17 team in the country, you know, just shows, you know, how much potential we have and, and how, how far we've come this season. It was a night of huge plays. Governor fans had a lot of things to look uh, for a lot of fun, especially you had a great night, over 200 yards, a career high passing yards. What enabled you to have that level of success tonight? Oh, for sure it had to be um, the blocking up front and then the receivers, you know, they got a chance to go up against top 20 team country, uh, top 20 in the country team, their DBs, you know, the line up front, got a chance to play against the best. You know, this team's going to uh, go far. If they do what they're supposed to do, they'll be in contention. You know, they'll be talked about for the national college playoffs. So I think everyone just enjoyed the, you know, the opportunity to go against one of the top teams and the receivers, you know, took it to heart that, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, if we're from Austin P or if we're from Alabama, you know, we're going to go out there and compete, especially against a team like this. So I think we're all excited. We're all ready for the challenge and the receivers for sure did their part. The running backs in the line, all they all did their part tonight. And I think we were successful because of that. Another big play came from your fellow team out, Kyron Moore. Tiny had uh, a huge kickoff return for a touchdown. What goes through your mind when you're watching something like that on the sideline? I mean, it's not anything new. You know, this guy's explosive. You know, he's the most, most explosive guy on our team, in my opinion. You know, when he gets the ball in his hand, you better watch out. You know, I think he can score every time. You know, he got great blocks on the kickoff return. He made a great cut, uh, one man to beat. You know, it was gone from then. You know, when Tiny gets an open field, you know, nobody's catching him. And so I thought he had a great night tonight, you know. So that's, it was good to see him really come out like that tonight, especially against the number 17 team in the country. You guys had a unique experience this week, a bowl game type experience, but when the ball was snapped, you played with intensity. What did you learn about your fellow teammates tonight? I think we've come a long way mentally, you know, over these last couple months, and I, I think this week was a big challenge. You know, practicing two hard days this week and then getting on a plane and going to Disney World, going to the beach, you know, sometimes with an immature team that could, you know, render the opportunity and, and we could have come out here and just laid an egg. But I think we were able to turn the switch, um, you know, after we got back from the beach, we had our team meetings. I think we turned the switch back. Um, we knew that if we did what we were supposed to do, we could execute and we could move the ball, we could score points. And I think that's what we did. And now, you know, after a great experience like this, we're all excited to get back on the plane, get back and uh, prepare for Tennessee Tech. All right, thanks, Jeremiah, for stats and highlights. Head over to our social media sites at Let's Go P. And don't forget, we'll go inside the film room with Coach Will Healy. That's Tuesdays at Facebook at Let's Go P.